Hi friends. So last time we were together, we read a book about Rene Marguerite and he was the man who made this picture, which is called Son of Man. Excuse me, my throat's a little uh, weird right now. Now, surrealism was a movement where people, you know, they thought about something that might be real and then they made it weird, right? And surrealism is all about kind of turning things and making it different, right? So we have this guy who has all these melting clocks. Clocks don't melt, right? And so it's kind of thinking around that, right? We know that apples don't float in the air. This one, we know that uh, elephants and animals like that never have really long legs, but that's kind of the idea of this. We're taking something, another Rene Marguerite, and we're making it kind of silly, right? And so that's what surrealism is, is taking something that we know, making it silly. So we are kind of inspired by Rene with his awesome apple. Now I decided that we were going to make one with our own kind of picture. And the thing is, the awesome part about Son of Man is that it's all about the torso, right? And the torso is just kind of from the chest up, right? So we see a part of the, the body itself. We don't see the legs, but then we see the head and then we see the awesome apple, right? Now with this thing, you can make your own look totally different from others. I've seen it where it's like, you know, the apple um, with a witch. I've seen it where it's Pokemon um, and it's Ash Ketchum and, uh, you know, with a Pokeball in the middle. But I'm gonna show you a Son of Man parody. And that's what all of these images are. So we see here, we got Cookie Monster with a cookie in front of his face. We see Elf and he has an apple. I think that it'd be cooler though if he had something else. We have Snow White with the apple she ate. We also have uh, SpongeBob with his pineapple home. Reno, these are all like different kinds of ideas. Oh, here's that Ash Ketchum that I was telling you guys about, right? So these are all different ways that we can show that we have that. Even this, we have Superman with kryptonite in front of him, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm going to have, draw a head and a body with something in front of it. So last time I drew a witch and the first thing I thought with a witch is kind of an apple to go over their face. So I'm gonna draw a circle for their head, right? I'm gonna draw two lines for their neck, okay? And then the easiest part is, you're just gonna draw kind of the shoulders, which are just kind of these lumps going down. And you can just draw their arms and their torso, that's it. And since I'm drawing a witch, I, I wanna do a hat, right? But you guys, you guys can choose what you wanna draw. If you wanna draw yourself, you can. If you want to draw a witch, you can. If you want to draw um, a regular person, you can. It's kind of up to you. If you wanna draw a cartoon character you love, go for it, right? And since remember, if this overlaps, right? I gotta erase because the hat is over her head. And now, the thing about the face is we don't need to draw any face features because we're just gonna draw either an apple or whatever it is that you're, you're gonna draw over it. If you draw yourself, maybe you draw your favorite, um, favorite fruit in front of it or your favorite um, kind of food at all that you like in front of it, something along those lines, okay? And that's all we're doing today. We're just drawing the face. We're drawing, you know, the features of the person. We don't need to worry about the background and then the apple or the type of food that's in front of them, okay? That's all we're doing today, all right? Uh, please post this onto Seesaw. Remember that you can use um, regular pencil and paper or you can just use the Seesaw app. I hope you guys are doing well. All right, Bye, so friends. today it's pretty easy. We're just gonna color it in. So um, I am just gonna color in my hat and my apple and everything in. And I'm also gonna make sure that I color in my background. So just like my other picture that I had before, I 
I'm using markers. If you have crayons, you can use those. If you have colored pencils, you guys can use those. It's kind of up to you telling me what you want to use for the colors, okay? Um, I prefer that you use markers just because I think they look a little nicer, but if you don't have them, I get it. It happens, right? So I'm making sure that I use craftsmanship, making sure I color in everything uh, as nicely as we possibly can, making sure that I don't have any white spots, um, and that's all I'm doing for today, right? I'm just coloring in as much as I can. And I don't want you guys to just sit here and watch me color, but remember we're not having white spots. We're coloring in all of the things. We're coloring in our background, right? I know this is light blue, but that doesn't mean that we didn't color that in, right? Coloring in all of our, our body, everything like that, okay? So remember, I'd rather you use markers, but if you don't have them, I get it. You can use colored pencils, crayons, um, or you can just use your Seesaw app. Sound good? I hope that you guys are doing well. Make sure you post this onto Seesaw when you're done. And I hope that everything's going well. Bye, friends.